Hey, good morning, guys. It's Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. It is cold this morning, so I decided that I needed to go to Florida. So I drove 30 minutes from my house down here into Florida, and it's still cold. I don't understand it, but uh, Paul's not with me today. He's having his teeth worked on. He's, he's had a lot of a lot of uh, work on his mouth. He needs to work on his mouth. I, I just I'm here to tell you he needs to work on it. And um, I'm gonna see if I can catch some crappie without Paul because it's cold today. The water temperature has dropped two or three degrees here and uh, it's not into the 50s yet. It's in the low 60s, but my limited knowledge of crappie tells me that when it's cooler, they're more active. Now, I may be, I don't know. Obviously don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna see if I can catch some fish today and uh, you guys come along with me and let's do it. This is uh, the Nassau River and it is the Four Creeks WMA here in Florida. It is a beautiful place, absolutely gorgeous. Me and Paul did pretty good here the other day. Well, I say me and Paul. Paul caught a lot of crappie. Paul's a crappie, a crappie guy. I am a bass guy. We fish a lot different. The way that we uh, approach a spot is a lot different. A lot of times he'll get right on top of a spot and I'll stay way back off of it, you know. Uh, but you know what? That's good because between the two of us, you know, we kind of figure things out usually. But if you notice, a lot of times when I'm catching them, he won't catch them. And when he's catching them, I won't catch them. And sometimes we both catch them, you know, but we do, our style of fishing is, is different. All right, guys. I think I got one. Pretty nice. Very nice. Very nice. I like it. That's a good start, man. It's a good start. Right in the hard part of the mouth. There he is. Pretty guy. Black crappie. Let's see what we got. Are those little red breasts kind of looking brim guys? Those are pretty. Orange. Beautiful fish. Try it again. Thought I had something, but it's a mudfish. I mean, I do have something. And it is. Oh, loosen my boat. Now, guys. I'm not just catching them, but look. I changed colors and look how far that is down his. He wanted that. I mean, he hit it with a purpose. Now, if that's the case, I should be getting killed right here. I mean, he, he slammed that. So, maybe this spot, I'll be able to get him. He's blind in one eye. See? Missing one eye. He's still eating though. Alright, let's see. I mean, I'm right in a spot where I think I can catch him. Let's see. Got something here. Huh? Crappie? 
Okay. Okay. Good one. Another good one. Stuck right in the roof of the mouth again. It's good. Feeling a little more confident about my bait now. Now that I've had three fish on it. I had a little bass. I don't know if I got that on uh, camera or not, but I caught a little old bitty bass too. So, it's two crappie, one bass this little black and chartreuse thing here okay here's another one again really got it okay he was out here in the mouth of this little creek I don't know exactly how deep the water is there I'm hoping Everywhere I've caught these guys. You just catch one. It's one and done. I don't want that. I want to catch several. Nice guy. Nice guy. Okay. Try that again. It's just kind of out here in the middle of the mouth. See if I can do the impossible, catch two in a row. The fish, and I was talking to Tammy on the phone at the same time. Ooh, ooh this is a nice one. Really? Yes. Good. Way to go, Chris. Okay. Uh, dang it. Ah. Uh, what happened? I tried to pull them up in here instead of getting the net. That's about a 14 inch crappie. That was a nice one. All right. Bye. Well, I'll let you go. Okay. Maybe you'll catch another one. Maybe. Bye. Bye. Okay. I hope we saw that on the video where I tried to pull that up. But uh, right in front of me right here there's some a tree or brush down or something and uh, both those fish came off of that you get on the phone and you're talking and stuff and you get in a hurry and it had it down its throat now I, I did think it was hooked really really good but it came loose that's all right we're not keeping them so but i would like to have shown him off to y'all I like to show out. I like to show out sometimes. That's what my mama used to say. Right here's something else. Another pretty good one. This time I'll be safe and use the net. What I should have done last time. Instead of being. Instead of being overconfident. Right in the roof of the mouth again. Not bad guys. That's a good fish. That's some good fish today. Without Paul. See I don't want him thinking that uh, I have to have him catch crappie. I'll just tell you right now, I don't have to have Paul. Yes, sir. Although I'd rather have Paul. <laughs> it's more fun when you got somebody to fish with. More exciting. All right, guys, caught a few fish. Uh, fairly successful day for what I was trying to do. Uh, the current is just flying out of here now and I don't really think I'm going to catch anything for about another couple of hours and 
I just can't stay out here that long. So I'm not interested in sitting out for two more hours. So we'll call it a day right now. And uh, thanks for watching. And you guys have a good day.